Hello and welcome to part 7 of my November 2013 update. Again, um, this video will be still books only. And I do actually have some more to show after these, but I'll put these I'll put those in a, another part with some other titles because I won't have enough to do a whole video on, on the other still books. But so I've got eight more still books here. Uh, first up is the final part of the Cornetto trilogy. Started with Shaun of the Dead, which is a zombie film, Hot Fuzz, which is a cop film, and this is an animation film. This is the world's end. I was going to see this as cinema actually uh, when it came out. Uh, didn't get a chance to go one week and then the following week it wasn't in the cinema anymore. So I to wait to get the Blu-ray to see it but watched it the other night, well, I'll say the night about a week ago now, really enjoyed it. Probably rank this between Shaun of the Dead and Hot First but it's not much in it really, I do like all the three films. And as you normally get with Simon Pegg films as I mentioned, we also talking about Alan Partridge in the last part, there's quite a lot of extra features on here. Some really good extra features as well. And then some exclusive ones for the Blu-ray as well, which is good. Don't really get time to watch a lot of the extra features. I do occasionally watch some some of them. But don't really get a lot of chance. I do try to sometimes just put on a bit of the commentary and listen to that. And I do have on these a really good uh, little pop-up track text track on the screen uh, talk, tells you where things were filmed, the names of the songs other things like that, really interesting things that you probably wouldn't know about just watching the film and again it's got a note to file a copy with it but I recommend that, it's a nice still book as well there's no embossing or debossing on here but the artwork's good, and the artwork on the back I think is similar to that anyway and there's some inside artwork on there as well Next up, a film, part of the Marvel um, Studios comics, but not a film that a lot of people liked. Um, this, this is Daredevil, starring Ben Affleck. I had got the uh, DVD still book of this, the definitive edition release. Haven't actually got around to watching yet, but this is um, the Blu-ray release. Yeah, some nice artwork on the back. Again, with like, a lot of these releases, they, they put on the back the uh, the credits, but that's not too bad, I suppose. And the one with the little card around it. I do want to watch this actually, and I say, I know it's not particularly brilliant, but it's better than Catwoman. So, and Catwoman was awful. I think they doing a TV series of race around this or doing another film don't know who's going to be in it it won't be Ben Affleck that's for sure well apart from the fact he's the new Batman but quite nice so he's, he's playing a Marvel and a DC Comics uh, hero but there's that one next up is the second X-Men film this is X2 X-Men United with Wolverine in, Hugh Jackman and Halle Berry who I mentioned because she played Catwoman um, the, this is the second one obviously, they've released the first one as a still book both of these first two films had DVD still book releases but the third one didn't so I'm hoping they finally release that as a still book um, the new X-Men film has and the other Wolverine films have as well so it makes sense Yeah, and this is a Marvel film. This is owned by 20th Century Fox. Obviously, Marvel stuff now is with Disney, but there's still some stuff that Fox own. That's where the nice artwork on there. The claws are really good, and the title's embossed. Same, same disc as the normal release for that one. Next up is 12 Monkeys. I mentioned in a previous video about Fifth Element 
I watched this not too much after and I enjoyed, enjoyed this a lot more. This is a Terry Gilliam film. Uh, it's got Bruce Willis in and a really good performance from Brad Pitt. Similar sort of different roles to when he played uh, when he was in Snatch. Not a role you normally probably expect him to play, but he plays it really well. It's the same disc again as as with the normal release, which I had. But again, like the Fifth Element, get, didn't get around to watching it. I got the still book. Got a really good ending as well. I want to give that away. Um, that is a card on there, by the way. That's a card. I mean, it works okay on this. Not too brilliant, but. It's quite dark on there, but it does look okay, and you've got the red eye on there as well. But yeah, it's a really enjoyable film. I'm trying to get the the Gillian films I haven't seen watched. Uh, I'm probably watching Brazil soon, that's getting a still book as well next year. And there's a few other ones of his I want to watch. Next up, um, a Disney release, this is Monsters University. Yeah, he's having exclusives, part of the Pixar Steelbook range. Not particularly brilliant artwork on this, but I have seen this used on, I think it was the Czech release there, or any of the countries released that had, that had this on there. Um, the back is actually a lot better. Should have been the front cover, but as is the way with these Steelbooks, they always seem to put the better image on the back. But it's, it's okay. Um, Word of warning this, this is just a one disc release, box standard release. There is hardly any extra features on the disc itself. Just a short film. So if you want the extra features then I'd recommend getting the Sainsbury's version. Which has got a lot more stuff on there. And it is a Blu-ray, the extra bonus disc is a Blu-ray. And the same one got released in the US um, release. I think in the US they had a standard two disc release. That's the problem with these um, Disney and Pixar films. We seem to get slightly shafted with the bonus features. It's fine, it's not particularly overly impressive. It's got the M on there, the logo, but looks okay, close. And uh, quite a few of the Pixar films coming out soon on Steelbook and the rest will no doubt follow. Next up is a HMV exclusive um, still book, and this is Red 2, and that's got a debossed title there. I haven't seen the first one, I haven't got the first one either. Um, never got a still book release in the country, in this country, and probably won't now, so I might find pick that up cheap. I wouldn't have normally bothered with it, but I say it's a, it's a nice still book, so I need to pick the first one now. I did have a couple of issues with the steel book. When I had this um, originally, there's a couple of scr little scratches on the on the spine, which wasn't too bad. But there was a few, quite a few faint scratches on the front and back. So I took it back and got it swapped. It was all tell actually, because with the card around this, and also the shooting wrap and the security seal, it was all to see all the steel book. I mean, this one has got a, it's got a scratch on there. I mean, it's not, not too bad. Can't really do much better. I mean, I don't, I mean, you can't take it back. It's been a week, and I don't they've got any left anyway. Probably. Well, I don't know. But there's a scratch on there. I mean, I didn't actually notice that when I bought it. I think it's because I couldn't see it very well because the, the wrap was on there, but. So, you know, I can live with it, but I've had worse. But normally it's on the spine because that's where you tend to look. But I've got ones with scratches on the back and just the problem with steel books. A lot of them tend to get scratched before you get them. But yeah, it's a, it's a decent film, so, so probably not in a rush to watch it. But I uh, will watch it sometime. Next up is Despicable Me, uh, Despicable Me 2. I've got the first one, enjoyed that. I um, bought the 3D version of that. 
didn't have a steel book. This one has, um, this hasn't got the 3D disc in, so probably have to end up buying the 3D version separately. But wait till the price drops. So I'll probably watch this straight away because I'm rather watching it in 3D. No, it's nice still looking. It's it's white rather than being silver. And again, it's got ultraviolet copy in there. And it doesn't actually tell you what the extra features are. It's got there packed with despicable bonus features. But there are ones on there. I'm not sure what the running time for that is. Oh, you got on the back. Uh, 48 minutes. No, not a lot of extra features on there then. So despicably meagre, probably. I would describe that. But yeah, it's got one of the minions on the front, so it's, so it's nice artwork. And there's a spine as well there. So I think this was Zabby, um, Zabby exclusive as well. So that one. I think it was. I'm actually not to be uh, particularly sure. It's a Universal, but. Uh, that one. And the final one, and this was a bit more because it was the debut on Blu-ray in this country. And this is JFK, the director's cut. I had actually pre-ordered the Amray copy a while back, and then as soon as it got announced as a steelbook, cancelled that and I changed the order to a steelbook. Got a nice debossed title there. So because it's debossed, there's no board around there. Got the cast on there as well. Again, this is one I've not seen. It's quite a long film, so probably find a weekend sometime to watch this. Not particularly brilliant on the back, but it's got some stills from the film. Yeah, and this is about three hours, I think, this is altogether. Three and a half hours, I'd say. It's a long film. And probably some stuff in this has now been debunked, some of the theories, but. So it's still be worth watching. Oliver Stone, Kevin Costner. So is that one. So that's the end of part three. I've got <laughs> quite a few still books that I've shown. Um, so I've got some more titles to show. A couple more still books left. So as usual, um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And until my next video, thanks for watching.